What's up, gang? Here we have a Midway MCR Tron board. It was pretty much free. We found it. Um, stick around. We're going to see if this thing works. Like I said, it's untested, and uh, we'll tell the story. We're just going to start by kind of looking it over and cleaning it off with a brush and just seeing what we're in for. Sorry about these ribbon cables. I got a little hungry while I was waiting to get the camera set up and decided to just chew one off. Um, I guess it's story time. Um, so Mike bought like a pickup truck load full of games. I think he got three or four. He got the, uh, the Stargate that I have that I'm restoring. And he got uh, this game, which was a Tron that had been converted to a golf game, I think. It was like 50 bucks or something he got it for. And uh, he, you know, put it away. And we, uh, oh, Hypersports was the one he wanted out of the deal. We got Hypersports working that next night and did a video. And... I ended up working on the uh, Stargate because I was interested in that one. And so I got the Stargate and then the, the golf game just kind of sat. And I'm not sure. I guess it was recently because I don't, I don't remember it being at the time. But he uh, looked in the cabinet for something or another. And sure enough, hanging in the, the cabinet for, you know, he got 50 for 50 bucks as the untested Tron board. So I'm, I'm actually in the middle of filming a Tapper video for the Tapper Restore where I'm working on the, the board for it because I was having trouble getting it to boot on the bench, which is a whole different reason than what I thought. And it didn't have any sound. I thought that the sound just needed to be wired up because there were no connectors for the sound and the speaker cables had been cut. So I, I really wasn't worried about it. Well, here we are just about done with the Restore. I'm going to put it back together and do the final wiring, and I don't have any sound. I was like, oh, no. And I still don't. I have got it to come on once. Actually, I've got it to come on a couple times, but I can't get it to come on and then stay on the next time I turn it on. So I'm kind of curious about the system here and how it runs without the audio amp or one of those new fangled switchers they sell because I don't have one of those yet and so I'm hoping that at least we can get the soundboard working. Oh, I don't want to rake that across each other I'm having a tough time with this one there we go but I'm going to go ahead and set this bench up let's go ahead and look at the board see if we have any scary repairs I don't see anything Maybe somebody did the caps or something. No, the caps are going to be out here. It doesn't look like any repairs have been done to it. This board should pretty up pretty nice. It looks like maybe that guy was replaced. No, nah, it's just two resistors on one side. No, oh, I think it's a pretty nice looking set. But let me go ahead and set us set us up for this. I got two tables to spread out across, so we should be good this time. I'll be right back. So much for throwing it on the bench and starting it up and seeing if it works. Found a problem. This is the CPU board, kind of like the middle board on the way I set it up. And right where the power comes in, we had an oopsie. That is the 12 volt line comes in on pin 18, I do believe. And then it just basically, I'm gonna untighten this thing, sorry. It basically comes up to this connector, goes out straight across, and definitely hits these two uh, chips here first. So we're gonna wanna check those and any kind of resistors or anything that's on the way. And then I'll change this guy out. Uh, I 
I'm not sure what that is. I think I think it's a cap, but I think it's uh, I think it just goes right through, kind of like a zero ohm resistor, at least on the schematics. Anyways, I think that's where that is. But uh, let me change that, and we'll uh, we'll see what it does then. I guess we can check all these ROMs too. Might as well before we get too excited. All right, I'll get it set up. All right, so I gave her a shot. I uh, I changed a couple of the caps because uh, I went around and beeped them. And let's see, I think, no, not there. I guess it was just this board that had, it had some shorts and I'm still looking. <laughs> I plugged it in and there weren't very good results. The uh, resistor that I put in started to smoke um, it's a conductor is what, what was in there, but it's a 10 ohm uh, conductor and a 10 ohm resistor is basically the same thing. So, But um, I want to try it. I unhooked the ribbon cables from the soundboard, so I want to go ahead and try it with just the video and see if we can get any video to come up. So let's try that. Reset. Soundboard interface error. I always see that. But looks like it came on. I don't have a control panel or anything to uh, try to play it, but that's pretty fantastic. Except for the part that I need isn't included. <laughs> Shit. Um, but let me try to see if I can, I'm going to give it one more whirl. I need to get back to the tapper board because it is for a customer and this is just, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I was going to talk bad about it, but I kind of need this board to help me anyway. Um, so yeah, all of these are coming up shorted, but I've pulled one leg and when you pull one leg and you test it. It's, it says that it's not shorted, but then if you solder, check, you know, the solder pads. Get on the right one. There we go. All right. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And I'm sure there's just another one somewhere that is shorted that I'm not seeing. I'm trying to go through the circuit, but I wanted to catch us up here before, before I did any more work which is what always happens. So let me just show you here. There's nothing but, oh, just a little beep. Nothing. A little beep. Let's see this one. Nothing. Nothing. This one. That one has nothing on the legs. Excuse me. <laughs> Nothing on the legs, but on the solder pads, it is. Let's see if it's steady. It's pretty steady. And let's see about this back one. Nope. Let's see about this one. Not short, but the pads are short. Where is that? Okay, not short, but where are we at here? Pads are short. Check here. Pad short. Not the legs. And the pads are shorted. Not here. pad's not shorted so it's got to be right in there right <laughs> we had nothing on that one if we 
look at the board, they're not like connected straight down the path. So I'm gonna pull up the schematics and look at it a little bit more. There's, with this pulled up, these shouldn't, they shouldn't uh, have continuity at all. They're going, you can see like this one's going up and around here. This one actually goes over and connects to the other one, which goes back. If they're plugged in, I could see getting it all the way across, but unless each chip is shorted all the way through, I hope not. Maybe I'll just try to throw uh, these ROMs in the other board and see if maybe I'll get lucky and the other board works. I doubt it because it's just a ROM swap, but hey, you never know. Worth a shot. We'll give it one more try before I, I call it quits and head back to Tapper. Doing something? Is it doing something? I had some sounds. We just only have some sounds. <laughs> Processors, I think, is dead. And then these guys are here. Let's see what's probing like. I had to probe on it to get to uh, produce some sounds. I was probing on this one. This is one of the amps here. It sounds wrong. <laughs> but this is my, or not my soundboard. This is the soundboard that I was working on before. So progress for sure. I think it's closer to working than it was. I just, it's, uh, this reset button doesn't reset it here. And this one, when you hit it, it doesn't reset it either. But when you reset it, they all need to be reset at the same time. And I don't know if that's something that's going on with the wiring or the little jumpers that they have. I'm just going to have to do some more research. But I'm going to, I'm going to poke around on this for a few more minutes. And if I could figure it out, I'll come back. And if not, then, uh. We'll end this one here, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow with Tapper running. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted, and a pretty good deal on it too. Super when am I gonna off. get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone. Please remember that, even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.